Hello and welcome to a brand new series. This is F1 2012 and we're going to be doing the Champions mode uh, of this game. I'm really looking forward to it actually. Hopefully you guys are too. Uh, this is a, sort of a, a continuation of the, um, the, the World Snooker Championship 2004 Classic Matches series. In a way, you know, we're, we're going to be going through some of these games and uh, and playing through them. Uh, some of the, the, the features that, that made them good. And, uh, of course, we're going to have uh, lots of F1 2021 content coming up. So I thought to bridge the gap to go along with uh, the final few episodes of F1 2020, we'd go and get into Champions mode. So 2012 had, of course, six world champions on the grid. You had Kimi Räikkönen, Lewis Hamilton, Jensen Button, Sebastian Vettel, Fernando Alonso and Michael Schumacher. So there's going to be seven challenges for us to face. We've got uh, Kimi Räikkönen up first, then Lewis Hamilton uh, and so on and so on. But then, of course, there is one against all six of them around Austin, Texas, which was the... Uh, the new track for that season, so really looking forward to this actually. I haven't played F1 2012 for a long, long time, so I'm sure I'm going to be absolutely terrible at this. We are playing in 4K on the PC as well, so here we go. Without further ado, let's get into it. Kimi Raikkonen, the Iceman. So you go, I've, uh, I, I did purchase this in uh, the winter sale, but here we go. And just about to start, the final few laps of this thrilling race at Spa is Kimi Raikkonen in a modest seventh position. He's been complaining of tyre trouble all weekend. There goes his teammate in the sister Lotus Renault. He's behind, but on a brand new set of option tyres. I think he might actually work his way up and into the points. And at this rate, challenge Kimi. I think we're in for a dramatic few laps. Here we go then. Ready and raring to go. So we'll see. Whoa. We'll see how well we can do. It's it's gonna to be tough. You're coming up on a group of slow moving cars. Try to pass them quickly. Oh my god, somebody uh <laughs> somebody spun round there, I think it was Kamui. Pulled by Ashi. Yeah, apologies for corner, corner cutting there. Right, hang on. We want to get this back. There we go. So using a flashback already, not great, is it? But, uh, yeah, getting used to this game again is going to be tough. Of course, a long, long time since we've played this. And first time I've ever actually played this on the PC, so... Used all our curves there. We got DRS. This could be a chance to overtake. We're going to go to the left hand side. Go around the outside. A little bit too deep, but I'm not sure I care too much. <laughs> We're through. And now we need to get up to Sky F1's Paul Deresta. We've got just over two laps here to get up to Kimi Raikkonen. I'm not sure we're going to do it, to be honest with you. It's going to be really, really tough. A little bit wide there. That's not good. And there's Hulkenberg coming back at us. He's on our outside. Oh, yeah, of course, we need to up the fuel mix. Hopefully that'll help out a little bit. Well, we're through on Paul de Resta, and up next we got Felipe Massa, and then Nico Rosberg in front of him. So, this is looking good, but we've got to get up the ripening. By the end of next lap, that's going to be tough. So, let's see how we get on here. Too tight there. Yeah, lost a crucial half second there, you would say. 
Well, take two. And we are going to have a go at Beau Rouge on Hulkenberg. And that was a good move. And now we got Kamui up ahead. We obviously got a free pass on him last time. But he's having a go at Paul De Resta now with the DRS. And we managed to get through as well. A little spin, but we're okay. And we're through. Nice. Well, we're going down the inside of Kamui Kobayashi. And we got Nico Rosberg and Felipe Massa up ahead. This might be a chance straight away to get a move on them. Well, actually, we go down the inside of both of them. What a move that is. Unbelievable. And look at that. Raikkonen is now the car ahead. That was a great lap. So let's pump in the lap times. See how close we can get. Let's see what the gap is after this first sector. 4.8 seconds. Let's monitor that then. Well, we got to make up 4.3 seconds in a lap. That is going to be incredibly difficult. We'll give it a go, though. Well, we're doing everything we can. 2.3 seconds now, the gap. I just don't think we're going to manage it. Well, this is going to be a shame. Look how close we're getting. Lewis Hamilton has won the Grand Prix. Oh, well. No, we lost uh, control of that. And, uh, what a pity. Ah, never mind. We'll have to go for take three then. Well, this is mightily impressive. By the end of the first full lap, we're past Nico Rosberg. We should have a good run on Felipe Massa now, up into the first corner. So here we go. And we're through. Very, very good. We've moved into eighth position. And a 153.6. That's our fastest lap so far. What a brilliant lap that was. And now, let's see how we get on. Catch it up to Kimmy. Try and overtake if you make a mistake. Well, 2.4 seconds behind Kimmy Raikkonen is the gap. And a full lap before we got to that stage last time. So this is going to be as good a chance as any, I think, to do it. Need to get past the, the lap car very, very quickly. It's not a great lap, to be honest with you. 1.5 seconds down on our previous time. But we're visibly closer to Kimi Raikkonen. So here we go. This has got to be the time. Yep, using curves again, using it to catch up on this straight. This is where we have such a good pace advantage. Oh, well, we nearly lost control twice of the car through there. That's going to have cost us precious seconds. really closing in now we're obviously going to be closing in for a, a pass either Blanchemont or into the bus stop chicane so we've got to set it up now we're much quicker than him you can see we're closing in the tents with every single corner we've just got to not mess up here 
one second is the gap. Can we make it up? I don't think we're going to. I think maybe losing it a couple of times through that corner is going to really cost us here. I don't think we've got enough. We're close. We're going to go for it. No, not quite. Oh, that is gutting. So close. Well, take four. Okay, so again, we've quite easily made it in front of Massa. Although he's having a go at us with the TRS. Well, that's Rosberg, actually. Must have got past Massa before. And now we don't know how far ahead Raikkonen is. But as long as we keep it pretty much perfect, I think... It should be reasonably straightforward to catch and pass him. Okay then, much better chance this time. We might even get into the DRS zone. But amazingly, we're a second slower than our fastest lap time from the last time we did it. But here we come. DRS enabled. Can we go down the inside? Yes, we can. But he stays on the inside. But we manage to just ease it round. And now up to 7th place. And I think that should be that. But uh, yeah, I think Kimmy got a little bit held up by the, uh, the lapped car. And that's maybe why we were able to close in a lot quicker this time we just seem to have a lot of momentum and now that we're ahead we can push away and it looks like we've succeeded with this first task in the champions mode unlocks the next one of course yeah, just taking it nice and, and easy on this last lap we don't want to spin or anything unnecessary uh, unnecessary like that Lewis Hamilton once again wins the Belgian Grand Prix in his wonderful McLaren and here we come then up to the line what's it gonna be it's gonna be seventh place against our teammate Kimi Räikkönen and the first champions mode is complete There you have it then. It. What a dramatic finish to overcome Kimi Raikkonen. So there you go, a little bit of commentary from uh, David Croft there. Uh, but there you go, finishing a second uh, ahead of him, which is awesome. And uh, well, we get gold on that one. And we've beaten the Iceman Returns. Of course, 2012 was his first season back. Awesome. Absolutely awesome mode this. And next time out we are going to have Lewis Hamilton, the pass master. It is going to be fantastic. I can't wait to uh, bring that to you in the next episode. So if you have enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Slicks or make a stop for intermediate tyres. Whatever you decide, your objective is to finish ahead of your teammate. Ooh, very exciting. But uh, if you have enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up as always. Subscribe for more uh, F1 2012 Champions Mode videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.